everyone. Hope everyone is doing well and fine. It has been a long time at my end that we have talked and this is basically a kind of an update video. Now actually I was giving you some hints of the trip that I undertook in the beginning of this month and that was my travel uh, to the northern India and it was in the foothills of Himalayas and by the sides of the river Ganges. Actually it was a very nice trip and uh, I had a really great uh, awakening insights from the trip. So like I was noting down the important things of the trip and whatever I was going through and I was feeling emotionally but at the same time I really had uh, an idea striking my mind that I should write my travelogue in a form of short essay or letter and actually I was seriously thinking about that so during the trip I was taking points and I was uh, like uh, gaining insights and I was, I was just noting them down in my diary and as soon as I came back there was some sad news in the family that struck the whole family for a long time and I had to give a break. I couldn't work upon my travelogue, my book and whatever I was uh, like thinking of writing. So it was actually a kind of uh, 15 day break physically and emotionally we are still going through the loss every one of us but then somehow I had noted the points and it did not take me much time to uh, like uh, consolidate and conglomerate everything together in the form of an essay and letter and I wrote my travelogue first travelogue book a very short one it was like uh, on Kindle it is like readable 38 pages and uh, in the form of paperback it may vary from 40 to 60 pages at least some other sites whatever it is and there is no hardcover option for this particular book it's very small for that so uh, the name of the book is lighting upon the Gita at the Ganga I'll give you just uh, like meaning of the this name light upon means coming across something accidentally in a delightful manner. Now this was really delightful for me because it gave me great awakenings and insights. And then the Gita is, I refer to the Bhagavad Gita that is the holy scripture of ours. And on the Ganga, Ganga is the holy river that is the Ganges. So in English we call it Ganges and I have written a poem about river Ganges in my travelogue. If you happen to read it, you will definitely like the poem about river Ganges. So actually my travelogue book includes two poems like one about the particular place that was a really holy place and it's also the yoga capital of the country and it is a beautiful place. It is surrounded by the hills, mountains. It is it actually it has a backdrop of the Himalayas mountains and the river Ganga makes it wonderful and so sacred and beautiful place to visit actually. And I also have written how I came acro across this uh, particular uh, like travel or visit, how it like I planned it. It was a big surprise and everything that is included, included in the book. So uh, you can just get a glimpse of the book in the sample piece that is available at the Kindle but rest you have to read it by your own self. So, this is a little uh, like meaning and a description of the book that is my travelogue book Lighting Upon the Gita at the Gata. Now I want to share some very good news with every one of you like uh, I just uh, published my book on, on 11th of July because it was all uh, almost the draft was ready I just had to finalize it so it did not take me much time and the cover is a photograph from my own camera so i'm sure you like it like that also it's original uh, picture from my camera at the same time i would just like to share that for five days my book was ranking bestseller in the travel writing and letters and essays and correspondence and this is such a wonderful feeling because none of my book has ranked so much for such a long time in the bestseller list but this book it ranked bestseller for consequently 5 days and 
I'm really thankful to every one of you who have read it and actually felt good about it as much as I have felt good about writing this book. So uh, this was a great news I wanted to share with everyone. Now at present I think it is uh, at rank 5 or, or something around rank 5 in the travel writing and also in the letters and correspondence. So still it is ranking but not the best seller. The best seller it ranked for uh, uh, continuously it ranked for 5 days. So this is a great news I wanted to share with everyone. This is actually first time happened with me so I am I'm extremely happy to share this news with everyone. It's a big thing that your book ranks even because you know the ranking changes every hour on Amazon. So if it ranks for continuously 5 days the book is I think people are liking the book and it's it, people are gaining some insights and some value out of the book. So in case you have not checked it, you can just check it out if you pay heed to this particular like suggestion. And next I want to tell you that it has really been a long break. It was not intended to be such a long break. I was thinking of getting on the track back after around 50 but still it took me time because I was not feeling very nice because of the sad news in the family and at the same time. I was like taking my own time to like organize myself, consolidate together and things like that. It sometimes takes time to reset everything after the vacation and but now I am fresh enough and I have rejuvenated my enthusiasm, interests and energy to actually come back to the track and start again with my old routine, my podcast, my writing and things like that and I have also planned some new ventures for myself for self-development and progress so in case you are you have also gone for a travel during the summers and feeling like sharing with it do let me know in the comment box and let me know how you feel after coming back from the travel and getting back to the old routine sometimes it takes time and especially when you're struck with some news some undesirable experiences and events then things take longer I'm sure if there would have been no news or undesirable like information in my family I would have started off definitely by 15th of July but um, my newsletter it went in vain it did not happen I may combine the newsletter of the last month and this month together that is for sure I will do that and I will make up for the podcast I will definitely try to make up though sometimes it goes by its own pace it is not in my hands Podcasting is take time and it goes at its own pace and so is the same case with writing. You all know that if you have been writing some time, you, everybody knows haste makes waste. So I will not be struggling upon the writing because then I won't be able to write some nice things and convey good information and my real emotions in the form of words to every one of you. So there is no worries, no haste. Everything takes time and I will take my time whether I have to do podcasting or writing. So nothing is lost, nothing is like, uh, it's everything is fine and it's perfect whenever you get up and start again. It's the best time. So this time I'm talking to every one of you and making this video, I think it's the best time to come back and talk to you all of you and give my wonderful updates. Because this is the time I'm feeling perfect to feel like talking with everyone because before that I was not feeling like making any video. So uh, there are twists and turns, there are ups and downs and everything going on. Too many things are going on together in the life. So just take everything as it comes and everything is perfectly fine. We should be grateful and thankful to Lord for the wonderful things in life. And we should not have any regressions or any kind of like setbacks or too much of thoughts etc. Always cherish the moment at present moment, the one in which we are living and there should be no worries about the future and no regrets for the past. That is the only message that I wanted to give through this particular video and I'm feeling perfectly fine and I'm so happy to talk to you everyone back again after a kind of a month break. I took actually a month break. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. At the same time, stay tuned for more such updates, videos, and a lot of things from my end. 
Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.